guess we'll try the cooking contest again. Here we go. Well, that's the time has come to determine the best cook in the kingdom! Free to make any dish, uh, you know, just cook. Come on, Neva. We believe in you. I hope. I do, maybe. Okay, time's up. Now, judges, let the tasting commence. It's bursting with fresh flavors. Oh, I can't get enough of this. Mm. Such a light, fluffy texture. Mm -hmm. We got a female in the judging group. That might help us. Wait, we had one last time. Oh, there's a feeling. Now it's announced the winners. But this year's winning dish is... Okay, uh, Raban. Followed by the Cincy's and then Sisterly. Well, but yes, I want to manage to keep my reputation untucked. Mm, it was so delicious, it was licking my fingers, indeed. Alright, how much did Neva score, though? Unfortunately, by the way, this was your score. 53? Okay. Okay, that's not, that's not terrible. She could maybe have a shot at it next year. The Harp Festival has ended. How you doing? Right now, I'd say omelets are my specialty dish. Okay. Uh, nothing against omelets, but not exactly the most advanced culinary achievements. No, we're not doing the farm work. What was I thinking? We're going to the restaurants. Oh, uh, I should get her in a class for something. Maybe if we get her some, like, artistry, she can actually be a successful hairdresser and then we can actually start making some money. That's an idea. Alright, come on. Just one day of success, please. One day. There's no way she's this... How is she this bad at cooking? In a restaurant setting. We're not giving her box money. Okay. Let's go restaurants, and then let's study painting. Get the artistry up. Because I bet that's necessary to be a good hairdresser. She did a good job, finally! Wow! She's succeeding in her field for the first time in her whole 11 years of existence. I'll do some great work. If you'll keep working at my restaurant again, you'll become a wife with excellent cooking skills down the road. 50 years of extra. She went from terrible, couldn't do a single good day in like months to a perfect week. Like a switch just flipped. I am Filkins, the royal painter. I will teach you the profound nature of art through painting. Artistry and sensitivity. Okay, that's good. Alright. That concludes our lesson. Someone knocked at the door. Master, my lady, travel fortune tellers here. Oh, sure, why not? That was Greek. <laughs> the fate the spirits whispers to me. An ordinary housewife. Hello, Omega Prime. Welcome to the stream. Really? How are your studies doing? Oh, well, that's okay for dinner tonight, so I hope you're looking forward to it. Oh, nice. She cooks now. Competently. Lovely. Okay, let's get some... 
more painting. And some restaurant work? We could, maybe we should go on vacation. Wouldn't that be nice? She's earned it. She, she finally had a good day, good week at the restaurants. Yeah, we'll go on vacation. Oh, then let's just begin. Her artistry is going up. She'll hopefully be able to be a good hairdresser, which will get her way more money thanks to this. That concludes our lesson. You'd better do a good job again, because we need actually the money in order to afford the vacation. I think we just have enough. Uh, what do you think, Chad? Mountains or ocean? Yeah, for a January vacation. I mean, I would think the mountains probably make the most sense, but who knows? Y'all, y'all might be weird. Hmm. I I completely forget what stats these affect. Uh for a January vacation, specifically. I suppose we'll go to the mountains. You took your daughter on a winter vacation to the mountains. Oh, look at her having all that fun. And it increased her sensitivity, good. So winter mountain vacation. We might actually do that somewhat regularly. Look at those little bunnies. How adorable. With their red eyes and their white fur. Welcome back. It seems like you had a great time up in the mountains. Never play any Princess Maker games. That's a bit harsh. I'll play what I want, thank you very much. <laughs> I assume you mean you never played any Princess Maker games. And aren't just ordering me around. Um... Let's see. So we have, like, no money. That's bad, for obvious reasons. So we're gonna do our, like, money-making job. Alright, we're in debt. Not ideal. But we'll manage. Cooking still skill is still going up. That's good. Sensitivity is getting pretty high, which is fine, so long as it stays behind face. Though, we may need to start doing more church worker theology classes to keep that relationship in check. How are you doing? Oh, no, I'm not giving you pocket money. I, I gave you pocket money. I gave her 30 bucks for no reason. <laughs> She's a good girl. She's a... Uh... Oh, let's see. I don't know, is the Imperial Guardian willing to talk to her? Hmm, someone wants to see me. Hello, Mr. Knight, I'd like to speak with you. My apologies, I'm not at leisure to entertain someone so ill-mannered. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll show them. Let's try hairdressing. And then uh, head to church after that. Yeah, it's the basic premise of Princess Liker Games here is, uh... You raising the girl. Affecting her stats. Trying to, uh... Ooh, she's actually competent! Yay! Okay. Trying to make her amount to something in life. Alright, so she succeeded one day. That's progress. I think the artistry is probably helping with that, the art classes. Because learning how to paint and learning how to cut hair are basically the same skill sets. Right? Surely. Oh, 
We will not give pocket money. I already did that. And I regretted it immediately. Okay, um... Let's do... Restaurant work, then hairdressing. Well, no, not hairdressing. Uh, let's go for some nursery work. And then some time off. I just save up for another artist's class. Though, if we can get the cooking skill up enough, we could maybe angle to win the next cooking contest and utilize the winnings. Oh yeah, they got like an absurd quantity of endings. The Princess Maker games. Yeah, last time we played, we got a not great ending. Uh, let's have a talk about another topic. Do you remember my birthday? Of course, it's June 18th. I think. Alright, we are going to... Can we talk to the Jester at least? Mr. Jester is the last person of the entire bus. You ought to not get close with him. Oh, it's only going to be a hobby of mine to engage tongue-tied lasses and idle prattle. And no one at the palace likes her. Granted, I guess she is just a random little, like, annoying 11-year-old ki kid, so... Can't really blame them, but... It's annoying from my perspective. Okay. Hairdressing is an art, in a way. So last time she had one successful day work. Can we make it two this time? We cannot. Because I really think we've got to get more art classes in. So we'll probably do like a double cooking day double restaurant week or months next time to accrue the cash required for more art classes her cooking skills almost maxed so hopefully she'll be able to win the cooking contest on the back of that. And she should get a raise. She's been doing amazing at this job. They should recognize it. Master, your daughter's birthday is today. Shall we get our present? Sure. I'll give her a book again. Happy birthday, my lady. This is a present from your father. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, father. Add him back, what did I miss? Uh, not much. She's just been, uh, getting better at cooking, mostly. Summer's hot. Why, did she just get fat? Your daughter's turned 11 years old now. You can choose to work as a mason or huntress. Uh, recent matters. I'm gonna do my best today. Do not normally. Uh, we tried talking to some people in the palace, and uh, no one is willing to give her the time of day, so it's not great. Trying to get her to be a good hairdresser, 
but as of yet, I don't think she quite has the artistic eye for it at the moment. But really right now we're angling to try to win the cooking contest this year. If we can do that, that should really help us get to where we want to be. Come on, get up to 100. Okay. Next time it'll get up to 100. We will not give the pocket money. So good, another topic. We should get taller. Yeah, you're getting wider. Is that good enough? <laughs> Sorry, I know I shouldn't be so mean to my daughter. Um, let's see. I think we should have enough money for a painting class. This game is so backwards. You spend her like most formative, like youngest years to send her to work in various like child labor jobs. And then like later you actually start teaching her stuff in classes. Alright, artistry is improving steadily. I might add. And maybe that gets us to the point where hairdressing is a viable job. Someone's at the door. Having a fortune teller? Uh, not right now. Let's talk. How are your studies doing? And every single person in the city is trying cooking. Alright, so our cooking skill is maxed now. So... Hmm. If we want her to... Uh, at this point, I think increasing sensitivity would be the best way to... Potentially... Increase our odds of winning the cooking contest. That or in theory, if we upgraded like cleaning and temperament, then we could get a visit from like the household, you know, domestic work god to get a boost to cooking skill, but that's a bit perspective for my liking. Uh, and then we'll go work at the church. Oh, okay, two days of good work. And she's not perfect at hairdressing yet. We'll need some more art classes. But three days of good work, 60 gold, that's not bad. We want to get these reputations up. I think that's the stats are important, but the reputations I think are really key for getting endings that are actually good. Who's the door this time? The fortune teller again? No, get out of here. Get lost. Yeah, you scam artist. Uh, the salaries come in. Nice. I think we're gonna just immediate. Oh, it's harvest festival time, right? Let's talk. You ready for this? Oh, the church is such a lovely person. I really admire her. Well, you gotta beat her in this cooking contest, all right? Um. Yeah. What's our here? Where, where are your casual dress? There you go. Um. There. Harvest festival time. All right. If we win this, it's huge.
cooking contest. Here we go. And now the time has come to determine those cooking the kingdom. You're free to make any dish you choose, provided that it's ready by the time the sun reaches the western rampart. The use of ingredients prepared in advance are also permitted. Wait, if you can use ingredients prepared in advance... If you can use ingredients prepared in advance, that, like, doesn't that... It undermines the whole concept of the time limit, does it not? Alright, come on, neighbor. Okay, time's up. Now, judges, let the tasting commence. Mm, are you testing me? Mm. Oh, that's so juicy. Come on, Neva. Such a light, fluffy texture. The judging is complete. Ah, that was filling. Now let's announce the winners. Alright, let's announce the results. This year's winning dish is. Neva! Yeah! It's an incredible dish. Neva's dish, chicken and sweet shrimp fiery curry, wins with a score of 163 points. Well done, Neva. Thank you very much. I'll have to let my father know right away. Mmm, that was so delicious that I was licking my fingers. I'm quite satisfied. Next, second, and third went place winners are as follows. Second place, Sister Lee scored 132 points. Third place, Dimitri scored 115 points. 3,000 gold, a paradise egg, housework reputation increased by 40. The Harvest Festival has ended. Master, I must offer my congratulations to your daughter on winning the cooking contest. Such a victory is a testament to her fine upbringing. <laughs> you sure are laying it on thick, Q. Now into the matter of the paradise egg. Shall I go ahead and prepare it now? What? You want me to eat it? Huh, well, a paradise egg is typically for eating, yes. But, but, it's such a cute egg. I mean, it's your egg, I guess. You want it. You're a very sensitive girl, so... Fine, but it's not gonna hatch or anything. It's likely not fertilized, so... It's just gonna, like, go rotten. Okay, we... We will not eat it. Next year, once you're, like, a proper teenager and you can... Have maybe a smarter head on your shoulders. We're gonna eat this thing, but the, the new one you win, not like a year old one. What? You're not going to eat it? Such a waste. Yeah, that, that was a close one. Okay. Well, it's time to talk. Your recent matter is well done. I'm gonna do my best today. Well, your best is pretty darn good. And since we've got this influx of gold, we can do some classes now. I think we're gonna do painting. And let's also start working on decor. Let's get some manners so she can start talking to people at the palace. And quite frankly, I don't think you need time off. I think you can do another painting class. Because classes aren't actually that stressful in this game, I don't think. Alright. Now, two more painting classes. This probably is going to get her to the point where hairdressing is, like, a very viable job. I hope. We'll see. Hey, they performed quite well this session. What do you think? Would you like to try making a painting? Oh, might as well. It'll cost 100 gold? Sure. They've quickly completed her painting. Mr. Falcons, I've done it. Not bad. Let's see, well done, I would title it Still Life of Wine Battle and Apple. Now if I were to give you a score on this piece, it would be 58 points. Okay, not bad. Starting today, Neva will study decorum. 
How good of you to come. As your elder, I shall bestow upon you the knowledge of the ancient rites of ceremony and decorum in the imperial courts. When mankind first conceived of the rites of civil behavior, it was about adherence, about our transformation from savages to civilized people. I shall gently convey to you the whole of my knowledge regarding decorum, both ancient and modern. He's gonna teach us a yes sirs and yes ma'ams, but also our these, our thous, and our that thous. Okay. Until we meet again. And some more painting classes. Lovely. So, oh right, and her painting, it uh, hangs up behind her in her actual house. I don't think a 58 is enough to win the painting contest. We might try winning it at some point. Nave was awarded a paradise egg as a prize for winning the cooking contest. A month had passed since she chose not to eat it. Hmm? Oh, it did hatch. Miss, miss. Oh, and you are... You must have hatched from the egg. Thanks for not eating me. We birds of paradise live for a thousand years. But humans keep stealing our eggs because they're so delicious and nutritious. It's becoming a real problem. Is that so? Good thing I didn't eat it. Well, I'm heading back to home. Uh, in the south. So long, miss. Always cherish the kindness in your heart. But goodbye. Be careful not to get caught by humans. Thanks, I'll be right. It's only our eggs that humans snatch up. That is a very knowledgeable baby bird. The baby bird of paradise flew away towards the south. Just yesterday, the chick was still an egg. And now to live for a thousand years. Life sure is mysterious. Touched by the miracle of life, name is sensitivity increased by 100. That's cool. Um, it is our highest stat now, though, which can cause problems. Uh, let's talk about recent matters. I know that the church is such a lovely person. I really admire her. Okay. So you have some out of decorum now. I wonder if anyone at the palace wants to talk to you. A general, maybe? Mm, what do you want? Hello, oh, general, sir. State your business. This is the Imperial Palace of the King, you know. Okay, well, no one likes her at the palace. I think this is risky, but... I think we've got to send her to the church, like, three times over. I'm worried about her sensitivity being too high. So we're gonna try to eclipse it with faith. Oh! Because of this, we decided to raise your stipend, give thanks to the Lord. It's now two gold! She got a 100% pay raise. I mean, I wish I got a, could get a 100% pay raise. And especially in this economy. If the groceries are getting a 100% price raise, I should get a 100% pay raise. Well, that, that, that's just what I say. <laughs> yes, I know the inflation rate isn't technically 100%. However, there are certain items that I buy that have actually increased by 100% in the last few years, so... I just hope her stress isn't going to be too much here. Thank you, Isipay. I do apologize, but I had to deduct it. Yes. So knocked at the door. Master, my lady, a traveling merchant is here. Hello, good sir. Well, you, would you be interested in pursuing my collection of rare and far off wares? I suppose. Um, and you gotta go for Venus necklace here, I think. We want more glamour and refinement regardless, right? And it's the best value. It's just the best value, quite simply. This right here is a necklace worn by a goddess in days of yore. It's a lucky charm guaranteed to make your daughter into a great beauty. A must have for any woman's collection. I couldn't tell right away, sir, but you have an eye for quality. What a suspicious item. I hope we haven't been duped. 
Okay. Good. Good. She's fine. Let's do more work at the church. Let's do more studying of painting. And uh, it's going to be January. And so might as well take a vacation off into the mountains again. The distress has been building up. I hope it doesn't take a toll on her physically. She'll be fine. These are not very stressful tasks I'm having her do. I don't think. I feel cl oh okay, I was gonna say. I feel classes should Yeah, she's This was a bit of a waste. She's wasting so much time. Like you got like half the results as normal. That concludes our lesson. You've done enough at the beginner level. Next is the intermediate level. We'll go to the mountains. You took your daughter on a winter vacation to the mountains. Oh, wow, look at those deer. She's run with a deer. Look at that. We should make this an annual thing. Just going up to the mountains. Welcome back. It seems you had a great time up in the mountains. Indeed, we did. All right, let us try... Hairdressing? Church? And then just normal free time. She'll be fine. Don't worry about it, Cube. Alright. I doubt she'll get a perfect day because she's already starting with a fair bit of stress. But she actually she's doing really good. She's doing really well. Okay, still tracking the faith versus sensitivity stats. Oh, they're equal. In fact, that was pretty fun. How are you doing? Let's talk about your studies. I had every single person in the city to try my cooking. Okay. Let's get you studying. Actually, no. Let's have you working. No. Let's have you studying decorum. And then we'll do a double work at the church. Then next week will be when we have you reduce some stress. Yeah, learning manners, it's important. Until we meet again. Welcome, I says you come back to do more service. I'm not really sure what ending we're shooting for specifically. You know, sometimes you just gotta live your life in the way that seems right to you, and then whatever comes of it, comes of it, you know, man? Oh, hello. Are you perchance the adopted daughter of the hero? Yes. I am Paimon, the devil that presides over success and renown. You seem to have garnered quite the reputation in high society these days. Has she? Ha <laughs> ha you need not be frightened of me just because I'm a devil. I help people achieve success. You see, I love successful people. 
I see promise in you, so I've gone out of my way to come to you and offer my assistance. Promise for success? That's right, you've got potential. Now listen well, the success I speak of is gained through recognition by high society. That is to say, through raising your reputation. This is good. Because you strive toward success, I shall grant you my power. However, bear this in mind. Success is a medal awarded only to those who work for it. A dazzling light enveloped the room, and in an instant, Paimon had vanished. Um, what? Through otherworldly powers of the devil, Nave was uh, decorum increased by three. Nice. Okay, um... So, how you doing? I should get taller. You're fine, you're, you're just the right height, I'd say. Actually, let's see if anyone in the past wants to talk. Can I talk to the gatekeeper at least? He can close someone in my position to you any favors. At least he's willing to hang out with her. In my opinion, the most important thing for a woman is refinement. There, renowned increased by seven. Huzzah! Where's that stat tracked? Whatever, I'm sure it's fine. In any case... Alright, hold on. Before we do anything, let's go to town. And actually, we might buy something from the general store. Specifically... A doll. This doll's pretty well made, right? The face is all, it's always what draws people in. Doll costs 120 gold. Thank you for your continued patronage. There we go. So that reduced the stress quite nicely. So now I think we could do hairdresser. Plus... Studying... Painting... And then some time off. Our neighbor begins working today as a hairdresser. I'm expecting a perfect week. Nothing less will be disappointing. Or anything less would be disappointing. <laughs> oh, that was excellent work. 50% bonus, 270 gold in a single week. That's what you like to see. Alright, sensitivity hit. Our sensitivity has crossed the 300 threshold. Man, the, her artistic skill is increasing very fast in the intermediate class. Which concludes our lesson. Okay, can we talk to anyone at the palace? Like, I don't know. Pure guard knights? Hmm, so much just to see, eh? Oh, so I'd like to speak with you? Hmm. Uh, what do you mean ill-mannered? She's got 29 decorum! Alright, we'll do double work as a hairdresser. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. We should increase her refinement before we talk to the guard next. What's it down to right now? 36? It's pretty bad. <laughs> but we finally have a good economic engine here. Hairdressing. So we should be able to do a lot of classes now. I wonder if she could run into the bird she saved if she went adventuring in the south. 
Can we talk to the bishop? I mean, she's got 318 fakes. So, Mr. Bishop, can we talk? Oh, these guys are jerks. Look after children at the nursery made me realize how difficult it must be to be a parent. Yeah, it was rough in the beginning with you, that's for sure. Okay, hairdressing. Give me some decorum. And then a bit of work at the church. You don't necessarily have to take a break every month. Okay. Rendement's increasing. Decorum, likewise. Master, it's your daughter's birthday today. Shall we get her a present? Sure. Kind of want to give her a teacup. Maybe a doll would be better. Yeah, what the heck? Teacup. Thirteenth birthday. Hi, birthday, my lady. This is a present from your father. I'm so happy. Thank you, father. Bear of the necklace of Venus. I am the spirit of the necklace. I have bestow upon me the blessings of Venus, goddess of beauty. There we go. Refinement, glamour, and sensitivity increased. Nice. Until we meet again. I do not cover the, those who are unable to cover the cost. I do not teach those who are unable to cover the cost of the instruction. Welcome, I suppose you've come to do more service in the name of God, have you? Of course, of course, naturally. It was worth it. The teacup was a very nice gift. This year's summer is extremely hot. I'm worried about the, the lady's condition. Uh, yeah, we'll give her a change of clothes. Why not? Nice clothes are the best for summer. Hiro has turned 13 years old and can now choose to work as a gravekeeper. Don't really see the appeal there. Let's talk about your studies. Not very good at cleaning or doing laundry. Do you wish to be? I mean, we could make that happen, maybe. I, I actually talked to the king. It is I, the king. Hello, your majesty. There's no way to bow. It's uh, insulting to approach the king like that. Come back when you've learned to conduct yourself with a better sense of decorum. Well, that didn't go great. Uh, give me... Double church. And a bit of time off. She's fine, she's not that stressed. We have one gold. Sound great. Don't worry, we'll win another cooking contest and we'll come right back around. Forget what class teaches eloquence. Figured it would have been the decorum class, but maybe not. Oh, there's a rhetoric class? Could be. Oh, we're one short of being able to pay for food. That's annoying. So we could change her diet, give her a refined diet. We'll reduce her stamina a bit, but we aren't really angling for stamina anyway. I think she's a bit overweight too, so it'll be useful. 
Let's go and talk with the gatekeeper. Because someone in my position won't do you any favors. I don't know. They did something last time. Yeah, renown increased by 13. I'd like 999, but we're working on it. How are you doing? Uh, how are you studies? What do you consider a good temperament? Uh, it's only can go with the flow, I guess. Someone who's not overly buffeted by the storms of life. Neva begins working today. She'll work as a hairdresser. And imagine, when she gets a raise at this job, that'll be insane. <laughs> She's gonna be the best hairdresser in the whole darn kingdom. It's actually very different for you. I almost never go deep into the hairdressing career path. I'm having so much fun. We could consider buying her a dress. Um, what it? A cotton dress would give her 15 refinements. Might as well. You dress up once in a while? You are a girl after all. Price of the cotton dress is 500 gold. Seems reasonable to me. Thank you very much. I'll finish it and have it delivered at once. Alright. There you go. Look at that. Nice little dress with little card suits on it. You, you like it? The sound of the wind blowing is almost like music, isn't it, Father? That is the wind spirit singing. Could be. I guess, in theory. Want to show your friend at the palace your new dress? Because, uh, like, in my position, won't do you any favors. In my opinion, the most important thing is refinements. Okay, refinement is up to 40. It's not bad. Let's work. Hairdressing, I guess. Now that she has a dress, she could, in theory. Oh, she got a raise, by the way. New wage is 24 gold a day. Nice. Oh, what was I saying? Right, now that she has a dress, she could, in theory, participate in the dance contest. Though I doubt she'd actually be equipped to win it, because I think you need at least some degree of stamina for that. I'm back, I'm just pretty fun. Pass your annual compensation is right from the palace. Lovely. Okay. Father, oh, I'm busy now. Later, please. Oh, oh okay. I guess you, you got your own life. That's, that's fair. Let's talk to the gatekeeper again. Why don't you try speaking with someone a bit more prestigious? No, I've maxed out my gatekeeper talk conversations. Okay, fine. We'll get to the Harvest Festival. It's gotta be the cooking contest again, right? Yo, yo, I... She should still win this, I would imagine. Like, her cooking skills maxed out, and she has a lot of sensitivity. Not sure what I reasonably could have done to... 
make her better. If she doesn't win, that'll be really annoying, because I'm relying on this money. Hmm. The judging is complete. I'm pretty confident. Alright, this year's winning dish is... This incredible dish. Neva's dish. Horse, mackerel, and wild vegetable white stew wins with a score of 312 points. Though, I mean... Mar Marcia... It gave us a run for our money, though. 306. Sheesh. Thank you very much. I'll have to let my father know right away. Yeah, Marcia in second, and Barbon in third. Got the Paradise Egg. Could sell the Paradise Egg in theory. 